what's going on guys welcome back to another video on today's video we're going to be talking about the equipment items that are in halo infinite specifically in the ranked multiplayer modes before we get started my name is jj and i do live stream daily so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future live streams or future content today's goal is going to be 50 likes i hope you guys can reach that goal and let's go ahead and jump into the video all right guys well i'm currently diamond 2 on the road to onyx really hoping to get that soon and I'm gonna share with you guys what I've learned in my matches, some little tips and tricks that hopefully you guys could find beneficial. So first we're gonna go ahead, use the Repulsor. Repulsor pretty much just pushes the enemy back. So the Repulsor, of course, you can knock people back like that. You can also knock back grenades. Um, it's really good versus people with a sword or a hammer or things like that. So I want this guy to throw a grenade at me. Um, that way I can knock it back. Okay, that didn't work. See so how you can push the grenade back like that. And if it's a sticky one, it can definitely stick to them, which is awesome. But you have to have a quick reflex when they throw it at you. So once again, knock it back. You see it hit him. Now he's hurt. So it has to be a quick reaction time, but you can have some clutch plays with the repulsor. They're pushing to all under, all under. I mean, I'm going to oh, push him yeah. off. Behind me, two up, two up, coming up, two coming up. Five bitches! No, I pushed, I pushed one up. <laughs> Let's go! I baited him by grabbing the ball. I grabbed the ball and I threw it. Oh, I pushed him off the map! They're pushing me. BB, oh, what the fuck? Coming around. Oh my god, this was... That was sick. Watching A. Someone, if someone can just watch the top of A, so I can be in the inside, and I'll push someone off if they come through the back of B. Yeah, Tiger, watch the other side. Let them, let them come here. I'll push them off. Just watch the back of B for me. Three. Oh my god. Boom! Like that. Come here, come here. I want to do something to you. Come here, come here. Come, come. On B. Or no, he's in mid, mid. Okay. I'm gonna push him off the map. Let's see. Let's see. Bye. Underneath, gonna be. I killed him. I needed him. Bye. Don't do that to me, dude. So the next one here is the thruster, and this is gonna let you thrust in whatever direction you want. So example, if you're not moving at all and you're sitting still, you just hit it, it's gonna thrust you forward. But if you are moving and you wanna jump, you say you're jumping to the left, you wanna thrust faster, while you're holding left, just thrust and it'll get you out of the way. It'll throw the enemy's aim off. It could also get you behind cover. But now let's say you're jumping left and you wanna thrust right. So I'm jumping left, push right and thrust right. You can also throw someone off like that. The thruster is also good to help you make certain jumps that you usually wouldn't. So if I wanted to go from here all the way up there, you can't make it. But now with the thruster, if you make the same jump thrust forward, you can now make it. While you could use the thruster to really get away and throw people's aim off, you could also use it to chase someone down. If you have someone low and they're running away, you can definitely thrust forward to help you catch up to them. Oh, baby! Oh, look, our flag. Someone's on it. I feel like this is what happens. Two of them on flag. Oh! Got one. Oh, yes. Thrust, baby. Thrust. Uh-huh. All right. For the grapple shot, we'll go ahead and show you a little flag trick. So for the grapple shot, you see the reticle in the middle. It's yellow when you can grapple onto that platform or object. So when you back away, you see how it disappears. So I'd have to be this close and now I can grapple onto that like this and it pulls me. Now you see, it's not on the flag when it's here, but when you throw the flag off and you throw it right there, now you're able to grapple it when it's not in its placement. And it looks like you can grapple it from, let's test how far we can grapple this. So you see, you have to get about this distance right here on the flag to be able to grapple it. So about, what 26 go ahead grapple it and you can grab the flag and run away with it so then you can walk away from the flag grapple it and it automatically places it in your hand too so look when i when i grapple it like this 
it's already in my hand. I don't have to pick it up. It automatically does it, which is awesome. So you can do some plays where you can drop this and have a teammate that's upstairs somewhere, grapple it upstairs, um, and kind of do things like that. So you can get really creative with this. And of course, there's some plays that you can do just by grappling above an enemy and going around them, going above them, and then not expecting it, or it's hard for them to aim while looking above. So you can definitely get some advantages using the repel. Now, if you grapple someone, it'll pull you towards them, and then you can melee them. Um, but you are going to be getting shot while you're going there, which is kind of risky. So I repel towards them. As soon as I start shooting, it cancels it. So keep that in mind. If you want to stop, just shoot, and you won't repel anymore. So the grapple hook, when you do it on something, you can do this and swing left if you want, or right. You can move while you're uh, grappling. That way you can change directions. If you want to shoot it here and keep going left, so you can swing around like that. That's one good way to use it. Also, if you want to cut it early, like say I want to go up here, do that, and then cut it right here, you can cut it early by hitting crouch. Now, if you repel on something like this and you look away, it's going to cut it like it did right there. So make sure that if you don't want to cut it, you don't look away too far. I mean, I can do it again to look a little bit, but yeah, after a certain point, it cuts it automatically. So be mindful of that. Oh, behind me, behind me. I got your back, JJ. I'm going to burn. Oh, it's another one coming. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Repelled around him. Okay, come with the flag. I got spanker. I'm going to get your back when you cross double doors. Who needs help? I need help inside. Nice. I killed two. Killed two on flag. Let's go. This is ours. Now, everyone cover me. Please, please, please. Oh, my God. I'm dead. I'm dead. I need cover, guys. I just bought the full door. Everyone go for it. Everyone go for it. The flag is right there. So, the next item is the drop wall right here. So, what it does is you throw it on the ground and it'll stay there for about 10 seconds and then it'll destroy itself. So, you can see there's about 15 of these panels. Now, when you shoot, you don't destroy it and you can walk through it as well. Oh, oh, it destroyed itself. But. Where's an enemy? So you can throw it down. Now the enemy can has to, it takes about a uh, AR burst to so destroy it, but it does save you from a few shots, but you can tell it's very weak there. So people can destroy it pretty quickly, but the, it does stop grenades also. So if someone's throwing a grenade, it'll bounce off. It's pretty good for clutch situations like that. So the drop wall may be good for like oddball when you're hiding in the here. Maybe you want to throw it here. That way people can't chuck grenades in here for a few seconds. Pretty good for that. You can throw it right there. Now I can spot someone. So if I want to see someone before and before they get their first shot off, so I can shoot him. Watch this rocket. It absorbed that rocket completely, which you can see there. It's huge for certain situations like that. So if you're using it right, it can be very powerful. But for the most part, it's just a few AR bursts or one AR burst with the battle rifle and the little square is gone. But that's one shot that you get to get off on the enemy after spotting them. So make sure you're using it to your advantage. Now, other thing to keep in mind, when you throw it, you can shoot through it, but if you go on the other side, you can destroy your own. So make sure you're standing on the correct side of the shield. So active camo will make you invisible for 30 seconds. You have to use it once you pick it up. And now you can see how your gun disappears, but it does have that ripple effect. So people can kind of see you, but while you're walking, it stays like this. If you sprint, you become visible. Once you let go, you go back in biz. Now, if you shoot your gun, you show up and then you go back invisible. If you throw it, you show you show up, but then you go back invisible. If you throw grenades. Flag carrier. Enemy flag. Allied hand. B oh flag double beat. Triple beat. Okay, I'm returning flag, return flag. This guy Guys, guys, flags right there on our left our left flank. Oh my god, they don't see me! You covered in the middle. Fuck. Get their flag, get their flag. Get that flag, get that flag. No! I died! Dude, they grabbed it! Can't be yeah, three on eight. Can't be three on eight. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Tiger, I was hiding behind the pillar while baiting that guy. I saw you going up. BNA, 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 BNA. Come back, come back, come back. Come back. Good snipe one right there. Oh my god. I'm stealth right now with a sniper. So now the overshield is just like it sounds. It's an extra shield that you can put on yourself. Once you pick it up, use your equipment button. Boom, you put it on. And on the top of your screen, you see you have an extra shield now. So pretty much people have to kill you twice. Now, 
it is decaying over time so it's about 40 seconds that you have it so you want to get in a gunfight right away when you pick this up and put it on or you can save it for when you're getting shot throw it on and then re-challenge but it is powerful to let's say grab the flag people got to kill you twice anyways yeah so the overshield very powerful um especially in certain situations you want to push be let the person with the overshield maybe go in first take some shots everyone else can team shoot um especially for maybe even grabbing the ball um in the ball game i forgot what that's called uh but yeah definitely awesome definitely powerful make sure to pick it up all of these items in these ranked matches are going to give teams a huge advantage so you always want to be playing for these items and you don't want your enemy to get it so even if you get it and you waste it it's better than giving the enemy the item because it's going to make them so much power more, more powerful especially over shield that's like having to kill someone twice that's like having an extra person on the team so it's like a 5v4 if you guys all fight so definitely get over shield don't let the enemies get it nice. got two got two dead i'm getting over shield going headshot well guys hope the video was helpful if it helped you make sure to once again hit that like button share this with someone else that might find it beneficial let me know in the comments down below if i may have missed any tips or tricks that you know that way we can all learn from it also this is my first time dropping merch i'll leave a link in the description it's an awesome way to support the channel that way i could put out more content like this leave a comment hashtag bell squad for a chance to have your comment in the next video last thing links to all of my gaming gear is in the description down below they are amazon affiliate links so i do get a small kickback but it costs you nothing extra well guys thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the live stream